Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California, and today I did an unexpected stop at the 99 cent only, oh no, no store. I'm going to show you today why I don't shop here, though I did find some things. Let's take a look around. Upon entering the store, you walk into the food. Remember, it used to be 99 cents. Oh my goodness. Well, look at the labels. I'm gonna tell you something. Some of this is more money there than it is at the grocery store, at least the stores I shop at. They do have quite a few things, but I don't know. I also found the shelves kind of empty. Look, look at this. And it was like that last time. Oh, look at that, 99 cents. Then you've got the baking powder, $1.99. Oh my, I don't know. And then they've got the candy. It's baking chocolate, and still it's like, what, $4? No, $3.49. I don't know. I find them a little pricey now. Easter stuff is everywhere, and that's actually what I came for. I decided to stop because I've got another project I'm working on, and this is the time of the year to do it if you want Easter eggs or anything to do with, you know, this stuff, because it's going to be gone in the next month or so. And what do you do with Easter eggs? Okay, you kids know what to do with Easter eggs, but what am I gonna do with Easter eggs? Look at that. I can make bubblers out of them. Okay, 99 cents. So I did find something that is actually 99 cents. I looked at this and I thought, I might be able to use it. I really did spend too much time in the Easter department. But like I said, it's only gonna be there for a month. So you wanna look it over and get the things you want. Now, what I really wanted were eggs without faces. The price was right. I can make all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of different things running through my head right now. And it was like, I'll take this. Maybe I want that one. I don't know. Those are cute too. So here I'm kind of debating it. The plastic's nice. The colors are okay. Would have liked a few other colors. No metallic, not if I'm working with hummingbirds with this. But look at all the stuff. All different kinds of things. I mean, you're gonna find, if you're working on a project, you're gonna find what you want probably there. A lot of different things for really, I will admit, a good price. I mean, even those are cute. Those are more than 99 cents. As you know, the 99 cent store is not 99 cents only anymore. Look at the signs as we walk around. I'll point them out. And don't worry, we're gonna look at more things than this. It's just that I have a project I wanna work on. And like I said, once the eggs are gone, they're gone. So I'm really sorry if we're spending too much time here, but this is the way I shop. Now I want to look and see what they've got here. You know, I'll tell you something. These buckets are cute. I mean, look at the colors. They really pop. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, 99 cents. Now you can plant in there. You can plant parsley and different herbs and everything. I will tell you, they'll only make it through one season if you've got it outside in the sun. It's a very thin plastic and they will eventually split. Oh, that is really cute. I like the colors. And that's very spring-like, even summer. Isn't that pretty? I'm thinking about that. That is really nice. Let's see how much. Mm, 129, that's not bad. I mean, if you get one year of growing out of it, that's really good. You can put sage or rosemary and it might be too small for a tomato. Okay, no pink. I don't want pink on my deck. I'm thinking about my deck. Really cute but really for one season only. Though it is really cute, it would make an adorable fountain. I already have one fountain with chickens hatching, so I'm gonna have to put it back and think about that. I really do like the daisies. Isn't that cute? Those flowers are really pretty. It's a nice color too. Maybe I'll take that. But you know, one growing season, that's not, a, that's not a bad price at all. And you can get a lot of different food plants in there if you wanted to go that route. Let's look through the other colors. You know, that one's really a nice one to pop. I could put flowers in that and put it out for the hummingbirds on the deck. 
I'm trying to get containers that are not red since the hummingbird feeders are red. So I've got different directions I'm going in. I'm looking to plant more flowers in nice con you know, containers that are cheap. And then I'm also looking to make fountains. So gardening, 99 cents, that's not a bad color. I kind of like a blue turquoise color. Still thinking about the eggs. I just don't know what size and what eggs look good on that. Now that would make a really cute fountain. I wouldn't even have to buy any candy with an egg. That would be the egg I would use. That one's nice too. I don't know, what do you think? And then you know what? I can make a fountain out of one and put a plant in another. Okay, let's go to the garden department now. So they've got all your spinners and let me tell you something, they're not 99 cents. Let's see how much the flag is. Okay, 249 for a flag. Then you've got your tomato steaks. I'm gonna tell you something that only lasts one season. They rust out and I don't like them. Now the watering can is cute. Oh my goodness, do you remember the fountain I made with the watering can? That one eventually broke apart, but that watering can was 30 years old. I used the plastic, but this would work. Either one, not a bad price. What is it? $1.49? I wish they had more colors. They only have the blue and the kind of the mossy avocado green and white. Look at all the cute little border fences. $1.99. I so miss the 99 cent store only. I still can remember when everything was 99 cents. Let's see if we can get the label on this. Come on, get it. There it is, $1.49. You know, I mean, it's cute. Again, keep in mind a lot of this won't last more than one season. When I say one season, spring, summer, fall, by next year you'll be looking for something else. I'm gonna get a watering can. Can't go back bad with that because I can always use a watering can and there are your strawberry towers really good for planting herbs dollar 29 dollar trees got them too I got some there and oh hmm I like the feel of that that's really a heavy plastic now that might last a couple years 249 it better last a couple years really heavy nice heavy plastic one's a little lighter. Let's see how much that price is. Okay, $1.99. So the heavier one is more money. I mean, you might see something. The whole idea is so, you know, maybe you'll see something and you'll want to go to your 99 cent store. Okay, let's see. $1.49, clay pot. This is nice, but see the bottom when they're small like that? I worry about them tipping. $1.49. I like something that's kind of more straight bottom, like that. See how the bottom is straight, but it's small. 249, that's kind of like a ceramic. I wish they did have more of a straight bottom. And you have more to grow in 299 there. Now they got soil, okay. I personally have not had luck with that soil. I know some of you have, $1.99. Now they've got something else, 499. Cocoa mix. I've never used it. I know nothing about it. Potting soil, 5% cocoa core. Um, I'm, don't, I'm not gonna get that today. Now look, a little, if you, if you can't grow, you can buy a little container for $5 with fake plants. Oh, hedgehogs, I so wish we had hedgehogs. Look at that, $1.49, little hedgehog, aren't they cute? The UK, you guys got hedgehogs. I love them. There's some hummingbird feeders. And then you've got more garden stuff. You've got fake plants. There's things you can use fake plants for. Don't kid yourself. You can kind of tuck that around among your plants and it would give them more of a green look. That's not bad. I have no use for it, but you know, there are things you could use. Hello, happiness. Let's see there, $1.49. Again, it's a seasonal item. By next year, you'll be looking for a new one. Oh, look at that, stepping stones. That would be really cool. I have no use for it, but that is really nice. And there's bulbs. <gasps> look at that, $1.49 for a package of bulbs. Okay. All right. I'll have to think about what pots I want. 
Let's see what else they've got. Gloves, 99 cents. Look at that. So there still are things we have hope that we can find for a dollar, uh, you know, 99 cents. More garden stuff. I don't tend to buy any of the watering stuff. Uh, watering cans, yes, but nozzles or hoses. I don't buy that stuff. $2.99. Now that's metal. They will rust out, but they will last longer than the plastic ones. They're not bad. I don't know. What do you think? Very Easter color. I mean, we're going to go in the summer. We can have other colors. There's all the other things. I see a scissors there that's green. I just get a plain old scissors. There's a lot of stuff you lock, you know, walk around and look and you can use for gardening. The gnomes are cute. I will tell you when they sit outside, $5.99. They do, some of them crumble away. I mean, no joke. They literally crumble into the soil. So I, I stay away from those now. You can put them out, just don't put them on the ground. Don't get them too wet. Look at all the decor. Very colorful, very cute. There's a lot of stuff here. Now again, they're gonna pay because it's not 99 cents. This is oh, just, you know, decor, no light. Okay, that, oh, lights, hold on. I see something I'm interested in. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I have bought these, and they've lasted for over two years. I like that, $1.49. And there they are. Hold it. Let's put that back. Let's see what they've got. Now, I know that Dollar Tree gets them in. They didn't get them in yet. But I like that. That's a monarch. At least it's a monarch to me. And we get tons of monarchs. I get so many monarchs, and my neighbors tell me, you know, there's no monarchs in our area. And I go, well, then they're all in my yard. I do have milkweed growing around. And now it's coming up wild everywhere. And I'm going to spread it around. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, ding, ding, ding. I've got thoughts on that. $1.49. I can live with that color. Let me think about that. So they've got more stuff. Let's see. Silk flowers, peat moss cups on the top. I don't use those. I'm still thinking about it. I, you know what? I don't know if it's going to work. I made something once out of that, and it did work, and then I put it away. I'm going to try something. That will be a project for another day. Another flower pot, ceramic. If you use those peat moss uh cups to grow in peel it away when you plant them sometimes plants can't get out doesn't break down fast enough easter stuff everywhere very colorful very pretty more easter stuff the whole store is covered in easter stuff as you'll as we walk around you'll see look at this whole aisle leaky roof do not touch holy mackerel i feel for them okay let's see Hmm. Do you see anything you like? I mean, they're cute. There's a stand, short, but yeah, that's just like, if you had a deck, you could put flower pots on there and you'll have an airflow, so your wood on your deck would be okay. That's not bad, but I like the one I got from Walmart. I'll have to show you that. Okay, now these eggs. Oh, glitter. Do not buy glitter for the garden or for making fountains. You don't want that in the water. So no glitter at all. Let's see what's here. Well, that's different. Now you can make a fountain out of that. Now that is different. Huh, the hole is too big. It would have to be adjusted to make a fountain because too much water, it won't bubble up. What is this? Hold it, I know what it is. It's $1.29. It's a light. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not getting this. Look at that, see what happens when you shake it? It's cute, kids would like it, oh my gosh. But I'm not gonna use it, but you could, you could do something with it. But again, you would have to make that hole smaller because it's way too big for a fountain. So I'm gonna pass on that and let's keep looking. Now the plasticware, containers, now that is nice to plant, and I've got a couple of those. Two forty nine BPA free, so it's a really good plastic. Really colorful. 
I just don't like such a bottom when it comes like a, to a triangle point, but it is nice. I will say it is really nice. And like I said, I've got some already, so I'm passing on that. More plastic containers. You can make in the house, let's see, for two, what is it? Two, two ninety nine. dollars You can make a little mini greenhouse, though. I like having a, a little size to it. But you could put seeds in there and plants, and you can start plants in there. Now let's take a look at the dog toys, just in case any of you have dogs. I don't mind this stuff toys. I am not going to get anything here. Zoe likes things that are animated and do things. And these are cute. I'm kind of leery sometimes on some of the toys because they're, you know, my dog's going to chew on them, literally chew on them. And, you know, they're not made in the United States and I'm not sure on the plastic. Plants don't pull plastic up generally. Well, I've got a whole video on that. But dogs actually have a big mouth, and if they chew the plastic, they're eating it. That's a whole different story. So I have gotten some cute clothes in the past. I have not, don't see anything today. And this is all the other stuff. Notice their 99 cent only stores are gone. They're only giving you 99 thanks. Look at that. 99 thanks. Toilet seats? Okay, that's the first time I've seen toilet seats here. Interesting. Very lightweight. Wonder how long that'll last. Let's see. Candles. More pet supplies. Look at the shelves. So empty. This is why I rarely come here. I've come here now three times in the past couple years since they changed the price. Wait a minute. Plants. Now, I did find a small rack now here. And they've got tomato plants. Now, that's the yellow tomato. I like that. Look at that. Pear-shaped yellow tomatoes. They look pretty good. $1.49. You know they're $5 at the nurseries. All the nurseries are $5. Let's see what they've got here. Beef steak. No, I don't want anything that big. Not looking for peppers right now. I have tons of peppers. They've got some flowers. Their flowers are $1.49. Those are. And these are $2.99 here. Hmm. Those are a beautiful. I'll think about it. Absolutely beautiful flowers. Look at that. Aren't the colors nice? I think I'm really thinking about getting another tomato. I bought tomatoes at the nursery, but I wouldn't mind to have a yellow one. Not into the beefsteak. Don't want early girl or any of that, but I don't know. I right, Let me see what's here. What do you see? Do you see? See anything here? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There are two tomato plants in here. Oh my, this could be a winner. $1.49. I'm going to get two tomato plants. And if I plant them right, I could probably get five or six, maybe more plants out of them right away. I think we're going to go with that. Might as well. It's only $1.49. So now I've got my sun golds that I picked up the other day, and I'll work on that one. And then they've got some larger watering cans. Let's see how much these are. I'm not crazy about white. $4.99. Hmm, and not bad. Kind of things are spread out all over. And that could be because the stock is low on some stuff. But, you know, it's still fun to take a walk. It doesn't cost anything to walk through a store and look around. That's why I decided I was driving by and I'll stop. Oh, $5.99. And now these are metal. These will last for a while. Those They're still going to rust out, but they will last. You'll have those for many years. That's not bad. And we already looked through here. Back to the eggs again and the baskets. But that's the store. And I thought I'd take you along with me to see it. Look at that. Frozen food. 99 cents. Yeah, I mean, we can't go backwards in time. It's not going to change. But you can look around and, oh, see what they've got. Now, these seeds, I wonder how much they are. I, this is the only seeds I see here. Yeah, package isn't too full. There's some seeds in there. Hmm. Okay, they do have those seeds. Those are the cheaper seeds, but, boy, are they picked over. They got their seeds in and everybody grabbed them and they don't have a whole lot. Organic, okay. 
I just really don't see anything I have to have. I don't know. You know what? I asked. They wanted $2 for the seeds. I, I'm going to skip them. Okay, now we're going to look through the plastic ware. Because, you know, when I make fountains, I sometimes need different types of plates and things. And I'm looking at this because I did get some from Dollar Tree. But these are a little smaller. And this will give me different sizes. Having one bigger or smaller, depending on how I want to set it up for a fountain. Because I made the fountain from Dollar Tree with the egg and it had suction cups on the bottom of my, oh look, they come in clear, of the solar fountain pump. And it stuck really good. But if you don't have it or it doesn't stick good, you may want a plate. You make a hole in the center. You bring your, your fountain through, your let's say your egg if you're doing it, or your straw, and it will hold it. It can't get tipped or anything. I like that. I'm going to get that. Here's more containers. Those aren't bad. $1.99. Hmm. Depends on what you want to do with it. Now, I have an idea, and I want to try something, but I don't know if I like that. No. I'm not even sure if I like the color, let alone the setup. I can redesign it and make something out of it. I've got a different idea. Back to the planters. I like that. I like that. I think that's going to work. I've got a lot of finagling around to do with that, but I've got an idea. Might be able to make a combo with plants. All right, we'll see. Again, that's for another day. That's $1.99, but it's nice and sturdy for what I want to use it for. It's a number five, so it's perfect to use for water, food, safe. That's really good. That is excellent. So I think I'm going to get that one. Color's not bad. The tray would have liked a different color, but they only had pink and blue. And then now I'm standing in line, and I just saw they have their eggs. Now, their version of the egg is flat compared to Dollar Tree's, but you know what? It would work. Oh, well. Well, let's get this stuff paid for, and I'll show you my tomato plant and what we're going to do with it. I'm home now. Let me show you the tomatoes. Now, what I'm going to do with this is going to be different than the one I bought at the nursery. And I will do a separate video on that. And it will show step by step what I'm going to do. Because here I'm going to take off this and I'll show you as I trim it on the video. But I'm going to plant this one far different than I'm going to plant this one. Uh, it just so happens for $1.49, this has two plants, but very little, if you look on the bottom, is starting. So I don't have shoots or suckers like this one, which is absolutely, this is a sun gold, loaded with suckers that if I plant it in the method of which I'm going to plant, I will get, oh, right off the bat, six to ten plants out of this. So that's why this one will be planted different. Now, this one does not. There's no suckers really, except for way down deep inside there coming up. So I'm going to separate this plant, and I'm going to make two plants right away on this one and then I can start to take and remove suckers later on as time goes. So this one will be planted different and then I got a few other things because I'm going to be working on projects. This is an amazing pot to the point where I may go back and get more. I love the lift on the holes. We can talk about that if I go back. This is going to be a fountain with some of the you know, doodads I got including that. So that's what I ended up with. Watch for the videos on how I'm going to do these two because this one's going to give me two plants where this one will give me many plants for my garden all spring and summer just the way it stands there. But I'll get a lot off of this one too. And I think it was worth $1.49. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I wasn't planning on going to the 99 cent store and I kind of just started to record with my camera as I was going around and I kind of threw it together. Usually... I don't want to call it polished. I'm not polished, but usually I know I'm going to go in there and I kind of have a, an idea of where I'm going to go and walk around. But this time it was just kind of just doing it for my own so I can think back of what they had and I shared my notes with you is what I did. So with that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Look, look, look. It's through the screen, but you know what that is? That's a tray. <gasps> And it's a kid's toy in there. Oh my goodness, the hummingbird too, of a pizza. And then the Orioles come in and drink. But that was a little house finch, and then it was followed by a hummingbird. So have a great day, and don't forget to eat what you grow. And 
I think I got to go fill feeders again. Bye-bye.